Hey, what's going on gamers? This is Dr. Redstone signing in to another episode on the channel. In today's episode, we're going to be going and jumping into some Knights and Dragons. We're going to be going over heroic mode and a couple different tips, probably about five tips uh, to make sure you guys can go ahead and get this thing all done as easily as possible. We will be covering heroic mode, going to be making a bunch of brand new videos for different tips and strategies for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Make sure and watch this one all the way through. Put your guys' favorite tips down in the comment section below if i missed any without further ado let's jump to the episode Alrighty, gamers and jumping on into this one so we got heroic mode event ends april 13th so we have a full week to go ahead and get this thing all done and dusted uh complete all stages most of you guys probably know exactly how heroic mode rolls we had stages 1 through 12 you guys can go ahead and complete six of those bad mamma jammas eight times and that's going to go ahead and give you one full shard you're going to use six of those to go ahead and craft the armor uh, as well as needing the ring and amulet of course but that's a little bit later so this one right here we have cursed souls overall definitely really good uh so heroic mode now is going to go ahead and give us something very current so this is a season i believe 56 armor so just uh last month uh this is what this armor is coming from so definitely overall is very good we're going to look over the stats here in just a second and overall i personally think this thing is phenomenal definitely the water and the spirit not the best elemental combination but overall i do think this one's good so we have the curse of souls the regular and the plus version you guys are up you guys have that up for grabs we got 22 so 23,000, 23,000 attack defense 1784 and hp definitely overall <laughs> very very good armor uh and i'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys through exactly how to go ahead and grab this one in a different video definitely let me know down in the comment section below if you guys are going to be going ahead and grabbing this armor are you guys going to go for the regular or are you going to go ahead and go for the plus version all righty gamers and jumping on back into this one so we're going to go and start this thing over on kingdom of darkness now the first thing that i definitely want to do i'm going to go ahead and go into battle with my main knight so we can lose just a little bit of hp now there's a couple things that i definitely want to talk to you guys about and that is going to be the amount that your guys's uh knight is going to go ahead and regain health so now it is one hp every 20 seconds uh which comes to three hp every minute 188 HP uh, for every hour and 900 HP for five hours so definitely something that you guys are going to want to go ahead and keep in mind as you guys can see up here so here in five minutes and 30 seconds we're going to go ahead and have full HP and everything like that so definitely take that into consideration as you guys are going through uh, sometimes you guys can go ahead and start the battle and let your guys' knights heal up just a little bit and then go ahead and jump into battle in about five you know depending upon how much hp you got if you guys are pushing 1200 i know that some of ours are definitely uh so this one right here definitely 1200 hp uh nothing too crazy but we got some of these other ones pushing almost 16 as well as the armor that we're trying to get is 1784 so almost 1800 on that one so that's going to take up a total of, of about 10 hours to go ahead and regen all the way through one of the biggest tricks that i always like to have everyone do for heroic mode is jumping on over here about 23 or 22 hours before heroic mode starts so for heroic mode it starts around noon for me so a lot of times i like to jump over here to the epic boss jump on over grab one of my friends so we got all of these guys here uh usually i go ahead and go with the one star armor grab radagast and uh, jump on into battle usually i'm going to go ahead and do this one typically like i said about 22 um, you can do this all the way up to 22 all the way down to probably 18 hours uh, prior to heroic mode starting uh, because as you do this every single day that's going to go ahead and give you guys an extra hour and if you guys do it every single day throughout heroic mode you got seven days right there so it's going to go minus seven hours so you're going to go ahead and use nine friends from the day before all the way for seven days 10 friends 
as well as another 10 friends uh, for the last couple hours of heroic mode uh, which is going to go ahead and give you eight full days uh, plus your nine friends in the very beginning so that's 89 friends in total which is definitely going to make it super super easy especially if you guys have a bunch of low level armors so you guys are going to be able to maximize and use every single one of those friends a lot of times if you guys are having any troubles go ahead and go ahead over here to the leaderboards this works over in raid boss as well as arena as well as here in the epic boss as well as some of the events that we have going on or as you guys go into big runs and big pushes and everything like that make sure and take a look at some of the top players go ahead and go over to profile and add friend uh, feel free and send those guys friend requests now one thing that you guys are probably going to want to do is send a lot of them as most of these um, top leaders are definitely going to go ahead and get a lot of friends requests you guys are probably going to want to go from 20 maybe all the way down to i would say 100 uh, especially if you don't have a bunch of the ultimate armor friends uh, ones just like these guys you guys are definitely going to need to take advantage of them because uh, that's what you're going to need especially when it goes through uh, completing heroic mode one other little bit i'm sure most of you guys know this one when you guys go through to use your potions to go ahead and get your knights leveled up make sure you guys remove the bling remove the ring also remove the amulet and it's definitely going to be a lot more health whenever you add that 100 uh, hp from that potion you guys can go ahead and bring back the ring bring back the amulet and it's definitely going to give you a little bit more bang for your buck uh, next up on this one is one of the exploits that they do have still currently in the game and that is going to be that your friend goes ahead and does his level up uh one exploit that they still have in the game is that the ring and the amulet and the bonus that they get from that your friends that you guys bring into battle if they can go ahead and get through the wave they will come back with more hp so let's go ahead and just jump into this one we are over here at the kingdom of darkness we're gonna go and grab our buddy dr lucas who make sure and check out his channel links down in the description let them know dr redstone sent you let's go ahead and jump on into this one so we got 1733 is his maximum health uh, so as we jump into kingdom of darkness heroic mode stages uh, you guys can see our knight probably isn't going to fare very well um, up against this one well i guess for the most part we'll see this one go down fairly quickly and then luke will go ahead and jump into battle as he goes through and gets most of these guys knocked out uh, so it looks like he's still got quite a bit of health here uh still quite a bit of health as he's gonna go ahead and drop down you guys are gonna go ahead and see this one as it goes back up just a little bit there uh definitely gonna be enough to go ahead and continue climbing and getting through all of kingdom of darkness uh, as you guys can see this ultimate armor definitely a fantastic armor so making sure that your friends has the ultimate armor is definitely going to be your saving grace so uh, as we can see luke's almost got us all the way here 10 out of 10 let's see if he can go ahead and take us all the way unfortunately he could not so if we will go ahead and back out uh definitely got quite a bit of time to go ahead and restore time we can go ahead and wait and get that thing all the way leveled up uh, or get our knight all the way leveled up and then we can go ahead and jump back into it uh, and see how far we can go now another thing that i really enjoy doing uh, so we can go ahead and back out of this one so start new uh, so let's go ahead and just jump in we're gonna go ahead and grab another uh let's go ahead and grab two of these other knights and jumping on back into it let's just go ahead and get this thing knocked out let's go and grab tony let's go ahead and grab who else we got let's go ahead and grab mike oxlong uh, and jump on into battle so one thing you guys can definitely see uh, we are super duper close to go ahead and leveling up here so we're gonna go ahead and level up as we go through this one you guys are gonna go ahead and see we're gonna take our two knights and uh, they're slowly gonna go ahead and get taken out but we're gonna go ahead and progress further into kingdom of darkness and that's gonna go ahead and uh, once we get far enough we're gonna go ahead and level up our knights are gonna heal as well as our friends they're gonna go ahead and get all the way healed up so that's definitely gonna help us quite a bit if you guys are struggling with a couple different stages if you guys time those level ups just a little bit better kind of near the end that's going to go ahead and take you guys a little bit further because you guys are going to be able to regen completely uh, so here we are we're almost at what is this eight out of ten 
Uh, we're gonna go and get this guy uh, probably knocked out this should be just fine uh, looks like Tony's got him uh, here we are we're gonna go and level up to level 2480 uh, getting an enchanted key nice so here we are at 9 out of 10 again uh, but now you guys can see we are all the way healed up with our two knights we are healed up with our friends and let's go ahead and just jump on into battle I'm not sure exactly how well these guys are gonna fare against this one uh, but now we've got two ultimate armors up against this guy so we should be able to get him knocked out pretty well uh, as Luke was really close to going and getting him beat so there it is right there now we're up against the final boss yet again if we went ahead and backed out waited the appropriate time that it took to go ahead and get all the way healed up then we can go ahead and get this thing all done now we are doing a video so I'm gonna go ahead and spend the five gems we do have 10,000 so uh, I think we should be a-okay on that one so we'll spend the five gems go ahead and get this thing all wrapped up and uh I guess last little tip right there, this is the easiest way to go through and do Kingdom of Darkness. Uh, costs you about five gems, 55 scrolls. Not too bad right there. All righty gamers, and that is gonna be absolutely everything for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Hopefully this was a pretty good rundown of how heroic mode goes. Definitely my top five favorite tips, as well as I guess a bonus one for how I go through and beat Kingdom of Darkness. That is definitely super duper easy. Stay tuned for episodes later this week. We're gonna be going over absolutely everything for heroic mode. I'm gonna go and take both of my ultimate armor, um, my ultimate armors from a european server and go ahead and try and get this thing knocked out as easily as possible definitely going to try and go to see what it would take to go for the plus version i know that the regular version should be fairly easy so stay tuned you guys are going to see how easy that one is if you guys enjoy make sure to smash that like button definitely helps me out more than you know if you guys have any questions or suggestions for future videos make sure and put those ones down in the comment section below and as always this is Dr. Redstone signing out. Thanks, YouTube.